Hey y'all, it's Barbara. I ain't in these Uber streets. I'm in these Jesus, uh, it is Jesus Bible. Listen, uh, just got through recording in these Uber streets with my new sister in Christ, Renisha Wilkes. Got a chance to meet her amazing husband, Donnie. Y'all, he prayed for us and her twins. Uh, her twins, I think Nehemiah and Noah. I'm almost certain that that's their name, but there is a word from the Lord today is Friday, October 25th, um, 2024. And God has been dealing with me or dealing with y'all through me, through the book of Ezekiel. And so Ezekiel um, chapter three, verse 18 so uh, the other night, uh, Renisha and I was talking and I just said, go get your Bible. So this is what Ezekiel 3 and 18 is saying. And it, and, and, and it reads, when I say to the wicked, you shall surely die and you give him no warning nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. That same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. Yet... If you warn the wicked and he does not turn from his wickedness nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but you have delivered your soul. Again, I'm going to look down to 20. When a righteous man turns from his, from his righteousness and commits iniquity and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die because you did not give him warning. He shall die in his sin and his righteousness, which he has done shall not be remembered, but his blood I will require at your hand. Y'all, the Lord ain't going to get a chance to require nothing at my hand because my hand ain't big enough to be required, okay? So this season, and, and it's getting ready to shift and change, and if you don't feel it, I pray you catch on. But God is doing something new in the earth, and I pray in the name of Jesus that you get yourself together. It is so many people, and I shared this a while ago, it just out of your belly, shall flow rivers of living water. Um, it just came out how it came out. And God has been doing that lately. Like whatever is on the heart of God. And, and be careful about what you pray for. Because I was like, God, I want to be concerned with the things that you're concerned about. Y'all, he got me saying stuff to people. And not that I'm scared to say it, but some things are just very, very, very uncomfortable in this season. But it's time. Like, so many secrets and agendas and lies and all of that. That's how um, we're doing a Bible study at the Hills Church. And you can come join us. It's 10 a.m. on Tuesday mornings. But one of the questions was, how did sin enter the, the earth or the world? Through a lie? Plain old lie. Surely you won't die. Plain old lie. <laughs> so... Yeah, we 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 are born in sin, shaped in iniquity. And the Bible is the best place to go to get all of your answers. I don't know how all of that just went, but anyway, uh, I'm sitting in Jeff's office, and I know he just got through recording the show, so I need to get out of here. But this is what I want to say: Go get your Bible, read Ezekiel chapter three, verse eighteen through twenty, and it talks about it all through there, like being a stumbling block and all the things, but this season, if you know me, and uh, not that I'm the one, but I'm the one for this right here. If God tell me to tell you something, you can block me. All of that. You can't block him. He going to get to you. If there is a word from God, God has ordained you and anointed you for something for this season, season for such a time as this. At Esther 414. Y'all, it's real. God is here and he, he wants, he wants to use you. Oh, but maybe not Esther 414. I'm going to read this right quick and then I'm going to get out of here. Uh, as Isaiah 59 and 1, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, nor his ear heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated you from your God and your sins has hidden his face from you so that he will not hear you. You don't want to be in that season. But anyway, Jeff standing here giving me, we giving each other the peace sign. You can come on in. Um, he see me recording. Can't do nothing but respect it, huh? But anyway, um, God is good <laughs> all the time. All the time, God is good. 
y'all get your life together and i'm gonna come back on whenever he send me out here that's when i'm coming in jesus name a robot amen god bless you